perfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. Enough, both of you. We're in this together, at least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. Oh no, you first. Better get everyone in the control room, so Tilda can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. I'm, uh, gonna clean my gear later. I can do yours if you want. I cleaned it already. Of course. Thank you. Don't mention it. Did you need something? Okay, maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. But is there anything I should handle before- Alright people, I need you up in the control room, right away. Okay everyone, we all know what's at stake. Beta, Gaia, not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside to this location, undetected. How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure, the launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones, scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? You two? A minute? Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, 
And she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. You with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right. But why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Silence is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. Okay. Almost time to go after Beta and Gaia. Might be good to check up on everyone first. Oh, uh, before I forget, I want. Strength. Overriding sun wings. Beta's gift. Now I can take to the skies. There it is. 
The Zenith base. That shield must be the glowing lights that Nox saw. There. A rendezvous point. I should take care of everything I can before calling in the others to attack the Zenith base. Okay, everyone. I'm at the rendezvous point. It's time to rescue Beta and Gaia. Understood, Aloy. We're on our way. Aloy. Where are the others? Not far behind. Egghead here couldn't stand traveling with the pack. Are we all here? Then let's begin. A tunnel. An ancient escape route from the ruins on the island. When I realized it ran all the way across the water, I I thought it might prove useful to come and go undetected, so I concealed it from the others. Shall we? Ooh, I wish there was a less pungent way to get way inside the base. Agreed. There's the launch tower. That plane offers a little cover, so the only viable path is through there. There will be specters guarding it, and many more can be deployed from those hangars. All right. Alva, Catalo, get to it. Where are they going? Somewhere important. Erend, you're with me. You guys, take the high ground in case we need cover and fire. Tactically sound, I suppose. What will she do? There's a sensor node nearby. If I hack into it, I should be able to scramble the network and keep you undetected. But not for long. Then we should proceed. One more thing. Open up the channel to beta. Audio only. Hey, boy. We're here. And we're coming for you. You know what to do, right? As long as you hold up your end. We will. See you soon. Be careful. Let's go. <clears throat> Get to the launch tower as quickly as possible. I'll do my best to conceal our intrusion. Beware, Eloy. Spectres ahead. Company, follow my lead. That's what I do.
Hit it again! Now we're talking! Coming for you next. Gene, over here. That's the quick way to take it down. Plasma. Hit it with plasma. I think you're right. Find anything? Yeah. I think there's a cave up there that might get us through that ridge. Let's climb up to it. What's in this backpack, Metal Bricks? Aloy, Alva and I are closing in on the regulator. Keep me posted. <laughs> we should move on. It's creepy in here. Don't worry. I'll protect you. I wish I had a glider. I guess I'll find another way across. Can we please leave the cave now? Let's go, Aloy. It stinks in here.
There's a lot of dead machines on this island. We killed a great many when we landed here. Their salvage may prove useful to you now. Another Spectre. Sneak or fight, you choose. Hit the weak spot! Got it! Aloy's under attack! Fire. Cover her! Firing! What's good? Uh, uh. Better than any Osaram. Any good loot? A little. Tired yet? Yep. Yeah! Clear those weeds! Oh. Get past those lines now. We're through. The inspectors are good sport! We can take this one, Aloy! Keep moving! I grab it if you need it. This will help. Ah, now we're talking. Yeah, that's gonna blow. That Stormbird carcass should get us over the gap. I hate Stormbirds. But I guess, uh, yeah, dead ones handy enough. Hey, you remember the good old days when our only worry was whether Meridian would be destroyed? You know, instead of a whole world? Oh, yeah. Good times. Ugh. More spectres. I'll attack when you do. You got his weak spot! Who's 
next. I think that's all of them. Yeah, it's all right. I got this. At least. Let's push on. What do you get? Just some parts. Here, of this rock. We're gonna have to climb around this corner. I'll try not to complain. I can see the way forward. Keep moving. As fast as we can. You all right? Sort of. How many spectres do the Zeniths have? Well, we only want to fight at once, that's for sure. Let's take them out! Hit it again! Looks like the others have things under control. Ha! You shoot like a new Aloy! Oh, no. yeah. Come on, up the slab. Do it. Blow the regulator. A moment while I ignite the charges. <clears throat> Alpha and Catalo did their job. Now it's Beta's turn. Uh, Aloy? I think we're in trouble. Whatever you plan to do to stop those specters, you better do it now. 
I'm not doing anything. Beta will. She just needs a little time. Time that we don't have. What is that? Our army. I think you got their attention. Very clever. You had Beta inject Hephaestus into the base's printer matrix. Which is faster and more powerful than any cauldron. And now it can crank out machines to its heart's content. Get to the launch tower before this whole place becomes a war zone. <clears throat> Your maneuver, as clever as it is, means that Hephaestus has escaped containment. It will no doubt flee back to the Cauldron Network. We grabbed it once, we'll get it again. We'll find a way to replicate its functionality, perhaps. The Apollo database. Aloy, in case we don't make it, I just have one regret. What is it? That we had to do all this climbing. I guess not all the specters are fighting our machines. Ah, oh, that would have made it nice and easy. Pick it up, if you need it. Here we go. That's the quick way to take it down. Let's smash it. Woo! I think they can handle it. This way. Big jump. To the right, I think. And now to the left. 
You can get to the launch tower through the hangar up ahead. I'm heading over to join you now. The hangar's in bad shape, but I can see the way in. Hurry, Another Aloy! One. By the blood of the ten! Ah, uh, let's get into this! It's not fear, but it'll do. Everyone, Sorry, let's go. Over here, Aloy. Look at all this zenith space stuff. This is the death I was promised. Go! <laughs> May Regala return peacefully to the cycle. Please. She cared nothing for peace. At least she died on her own terms. Not as her puppet. Oblivion draws no such distinctions. Aloy, it's been intense, but Catalo got me to a network node. I'm trying to get in. Keep at it. We're almost to the tower. Now we know who's been causing all the fuss. Tilda's little pet. Silence! Zenith inbound, can we drop their shields, please? I'm powering it up. Stay still. This is pointless! You can't hurt us. Face it, your worms that ooze to the cracks into our basement. Silence! One moment more. But I might just spare you if you give up Tilda. I think it's safe to say she's forfeited her share of our operation. Permanently. Ah, uh, there. No? Nothing? Fine. All right, people. Light them up! Uh, 
Are we supposed to be scared? can't let Gerard escape. It won't take long before he preps the shuttle for launch. Then he'll be able to take Beta and Gaia into orbit and onto the Odyssey beyond our reach. We gotta go through there? I fail to see another option. Then we'll carve a path. Ready? Get to the top and secure Gaia. I'll stop Gerard. Gotta get to the top of the tower and free Beta. Aloy, we're... An elevator. Promising. We got some unfinished business, little girl. Trust me, you're gonna wish you had one. Hurt. 
Now we're having fun, right? You okay? I will be. In time. Go. Rescue your sister. I'll regroup with the others and make sure they're all right. Looks like the machine's inspectors have almost wiped each other out. What was that? Aloy, Gerard just activated the self-destruct failsafe on the printing matrix. He's taking control of a number of systems. Including the lift? I'm afraid so. He's restricted its access to the top. You'll have to climb from there. I have to go. I almost have him. Is everyone all right down there? Uh, mostly. We're cleaning up the last few spectres. What about the Zeniths? Dead, I think. Izo told me you got Eric. Good work. Yeah. Thanks. I guess only Tilda and Gerard are left then. Aloy, you there? Listen, I got into the network, but only for a minute before I was shut out. I found a bunch of flight plans and trajectories, as if the Zeniths were planning to leave Earth. Doesn't make any sense. I know, but there's more. The files I found have a lot of references to something called Nemesis. Whatever it is, the Zeniths are afraid of it. Alva? Alva! What's going on here? M maybe Beta can help me figure it out. Almost there. Are you okay? Look, I know you've been through a lot, but you have to help me access the Zenith network. I need to see their files, anything referring to the word Nemesis. Okay. O over there. The systems are down all over the base. I should be able to take advantage of... Yes, Nemesis. Here. There's something in deep space. 
It's following the Zenith to Earth. Look. Escape vectors. Alva tried to warn me about this. The Zeniths aren't planning to stay here. It's a machine of some kind. O or a swarm of them. The energy readings are... astronomical. Aloy, I don't think a natural disaster destroyed the Zenith colony on Sirius. This thing did. Earth isn't a new home for them. It's a way station. They're on the run. I see you've been busy. And you've been lying. Nemesis, what is it? It is us. The minds of Far Zenith. Or failed copies of them, anyway. Back on Sirius, some of my peers weren't satisfied with physical immortality. They wanted digital transcendence. A way to upload their minds into any form, organic or mechanical. Nemesis was a failed experiment to that effect. Abandoned, but never erased. An immense database of our memories, emotions, and prejudices left to fester. And it destroyed your colony? We didn't realize it had gained sentience until it broke containment. It had everything it needed from our memories. Security protocols, system specs, override codes. It hacked everything before we knew what hit us. Then it took over our printing facilities, allowing it to gain any machine form it needed to wipe us out. But why? Imagine being trapped alone for decades with only the twisted echoes of megalomaniacs for company. It hates us for abandoning it to that prison. And now that it's free, it will do anything to destroy us, including denying us a safe harbor on Earth. The extinction signal that woke Hades. You didn't send it. Nemesis did. Finally, you understand. And when that failed, it launched from Sirius to finish the job itself. Which is why we must flee to a random planet circling a random star somewhere it can never find us. With Gaia. So you can build yourself a new world. That's the plan. Even now. Earth is finished, Aloy. Nemesis will scour it of life to deny its creators a viable home. But Elizabeth's dream won't die. You'll come with me to the stars. And with Gaia, we'll create a new world. Together. Where that monstrosity could never find us. What? No. I loved Elizabeth more than you could ever know. And I let her stay behind to die with the rest of humanity. A mistake I have regretted for a thousand years. Now she stands before me again. Not some inferior copy, but her best possible self. So I'm not asking. You're coming with me. It may seem harsh now, but you'll forgive me in a few centuries. You can't force me, Tilda. Your shield is gone. I have something better. Spectre Prime, to me. 